Hello there everyone, it's Andy here from inkybutterfly.wordpress.com Thank you very much for joining me again for a card tutorial So today we're working with the um, Love, Nothing's Better Than um, stamp set So I made this sample This is um, using the, the coffee elements from that stamp set And I went with a bit, um, you know, early espresso of course As it was a coffee themed card to um, to marry that up and with some very vanilla layers, so I thought that was cute, and I thought um, that could possibly be given to a guy or a gal who's into their coffee. So that's the um, the sample. Just to show you quickly um, the other elements of the stamp set. So yeah, nothing's better than, and then we've got coffee, cookies, cocktails, and chocolate. I think I can uh, relate to most of those really. Um, and then we've got all these cute sentiments that go with it, so you can build the sentiments as you as you as you wish. So you can use the the words in, on their own with the, with the coordinated images, but you can go. I think there is today is a coffee kind of day, or you know, uh, a today's plan: consume cocktails and be awesome. Okay, so there, there's tons of stuff and fun quirky things you can you can do with this set it does have a set of coordinating dies called love you more so um love you more than is um an additional die in there and then we've got all the words coffee cookies chocolate cocktails is out because we're going to use cocktails and then you've got a die that will cut out the main cookie image the chocolate and the coffee cup and then of course there is the, the cocktail two that I am going to be using today. Okie dokie. So we are going to start because I'm going with the um, cocktails. Um, I've gone a little bit more tropical with the colour scheme. So I'm going to use a coastal cabana card base with layers of whisper white, and I'm going to bring in Bermuda Bay simply because it's one of my favourite colours really, uh, and it goes quite nicely with the um, with the coastal cabana anyway. So those are my layers. Uh, the other thing we're going to do is um, uh, we're going to emboss one of these layers. So we're going to bring in um, this, I think it's called Dainty Diamonds. Uh, it's actually in the Peony Garden uh, collection, but it's quite a nice, pretty um, embossing folder to, to add some texture to the background. Um, and that's for this layer here. This is a 3D embossing folder, so um, in my um, what do you call it die cut machine, I'm going to be using the um, the embossing plate, which I've put away, which is daft, isn't it? So the embossing plate for the Stampin' Up Big Shot is um, purple. Take away all the other plates that I would normally use for die cutting and roll that through. Ooh. And we get this. Ooh. So so deeply embossed it sticks in there. You see that from texture that you get. Not fab. Okay. Stick that to one side, put my plates back. So I shall need to go cut in a bit as well. So that's ready to go. Um where did I put all the other layers that they are? Okay, so let's get some of this um construction part out of the way. Um, we're going to use our tape runner, she says, getting it started. So just a whisper like white layer. This is a fraction smaller than I normally use because I want to, to see more of the coastal cabana 
around the edge so it's just an eighth of an inch smaller than it would normally be <coughs> so what would it normally be let me think right it would normally be four by five and three quarters so it's what it's three and seven eighths by Five and five eighths, is it? Yeah. And this one's going to lay out on here. So the Bermuda Bay piece is three and a half by five and a quarter, and Whisper White at three by four and three quarters. This is going. This is adhering onto um, a textured. Uh, background so I'm just put, I'm going to put plenty of adhesive on a little more than I would normally use just to make sure it adheres nicely to that textured layer my glossing folder wasn't dead straight so that's making it look a little bit more wonky than it would be, would be normally and then I want to add a little bit of lift to that so I'm going to use some dimensionals to raise that up on the card base so not too close to the edges and I'm going to go one in each corner copy in the middle just to give it some support So my chair squeaks ever such a lot. I must get it. I must put some stuff on it to make it less squeaky. So if you can hear a faint squeaking, it's my my stool that I'm sat on. Okay. So car base is ready to go. Um, uh, ready to receive some of the other elements, and I have already pre-stamped um, the cocktails. Um. So in keeping with the card itself, I'm going to bring in my Coastal Cabana ink and in the stamp set there's this little teeny tiny, teeny tiny stamp that will colour in my umbrellas. So, uh, oh I need to subscribe. I'm going to um, blot it off once, I just don't want, I just don't want it completely, um, I don't want the full strength colour. Just trying to get my head as close to that as possible. Um, the camera setup is literally where I would normally want to put my head to see where that was going. So if they're slightly off centre, that's why. So that's just given a hint of colour to those and what I'm going to do is use the um the what are they called stamping right marker in the same colour and I'm going to just going to take that bullet tip and just add just a smidge of shading to that. It's exactly the same ink um, as is in the um so it will just define those shadows a little bit for me, which I think is really cute. I was going to get my blends out to do it, um, but there isn't a Coastal Cabana one. And then it came to me, I know. I can get something like the effect I want with um, my stamp and storage is right in front of me so um, so I think you can see there that there's just that little bit of 
uh, you know, a gradient of colour in those umbrellas just to get, make those a little bit more interesting. Um, the colours I've picked out to fill the glasses with there are these fun summery colours. I've got no idea if drinks actually come in these kind of colours, but you know, it's fun. We're just going to have some fun with it. And the other thing is we've got the uh, lemon stroke limes. So the two I picked out were Daffodil of the Light and Granny Apple Green. And where have I put that? So I'm just going to take that stamp off and replace it with the little lemon slice stamp and do the same sort of thing. Put that on there. So some of them are going to be lemons and some of them are going to be limes. Okay, I'm just going to stamp it off. Once. So we'll have three lemons. already looking wonderful. Okay, okay. I still think I am going to still need that scrap I think. Uh, before I do the inside I'm just going to use, um, well let's keep it all consistent. Let's Instead of using a blend I'm going to bring out my smoky slate. Just going to add just a hint of something to the, the stems of those glasses, just so they don't look so flat. There we go. Bro! So now we can fill them with interesting things. So I've got some green. So it's, uh, what did I say that was? Granny apple green. So we'll put that on one of the ones with the lemons. So not too much green going on. And drop that in there. Oh actually, do you know what that is a bit faint? Hmm. Yeah. It is a bit faint. Well, okay. I'll go with it. Oh. <laughs> Got my chamois. Let's grab that out the drawer. Changing ink colours. Right, so I think we've got a green one. Let's do some yellow. I think what I'm going to do is going to I'm going to blot, blot most of it off. What I'm trying to do is blot off the top more than the um, bottom so you've got kind of that you know how um, you know like a tequila sunrise has like the dark at the bottom yeah cool lovely so I'll do two of them so it makes them of course swirly and wonderful I suppose we could, um, I don't know, does Daffodil Delight, mm, don't think Daffodil Delight really lends itself to being a cocktail name really, does it? So again, I'm going to try and stamp off most of the top part, so we get that. Great, 
sorry, concentrating on positioning the stamp so I've stopped talking. <laughs> okay, give that a good wipe off. Excellent. Look at those cute cocktails. Love it. Love it. So, next thing is to die cut all those um, fellows out. Oh, I should have done those ahead of time, but I wanted to, wanted to stamp them with you. Anyway, where did I put my die? There it is. Won't take long. Um, if you're bear with. Bear with. So, um, just going to line these dies up. This die up with the. Um, with that glass and I think if we're gonna we're gonna save a little bit of time if we're gonna cut five of those while we're at it we'll cut the um the cocktails die cut in coastal cabana as well because I'll both fit on the um the cutting plate at the same time so I'm going to be dead careful with them um, this die because don't want to lose my art, my the dot to my eye, which is just there. So we'll poke that out in a minute. Once you've cut all our little cocktail glasses, they're only small, it won't take me a moment. So, just to say as well, this. Um, this stamp set was um, designed by a Stamping Up demonstrator. So, when demonstrators reach the million sales, million in career to date sales, they get to visit the um, home office, which is in Utah, in America. They get to have a look around the factory, see some stuff. They get to stamp with Sarah. Um, and they get the opportunity to collaborate with the um, design team to create their own stamp set. This one um, is from Connie Stewart. So Connie's a demo in the United States. She, has, she also has a YouTube channel, as you might expect. And uh, yeah, so this is, this is hers. There's a couple of other um, stamp sets. You can see that they're indicated by a gold hexagon in the catalogue, so you'll see them in there. And then the other exciting thing about this is that um, my upline, who is Sam Hammond, she was the first UK demo to get to the million so she had her trip last year and um, she's not told us anything about our stamp set obviously but we're waiting for that to come out we don't know when it's going to come out she doesn't know when it's going to come out I don't think or if she does she hasn't told us of course top secret until it, until it arrives Okay, there we go, that didn't take long and you could listen to me rambling for a bit. Look how cleanly that, that comes out. Superb quality dies. So we just need to poke out just a couple of those little bits. Your take your pick tool is perfect just to poke out those little, little doohickeys. Keep hold of my little dot on my eye. Let's get rid of those in the bin. Cool. Okay, right. So, how are we going to put these on then? Because I did more of the cocktails. I thought we'd have some fun with the colours, you see. I still want to use the vellum circle, I think. So this was the two and one quarter inch um, punch that I used for that. Nice and simple to get wrapped, not get cut. So somewhere around there, maybe, maybe that's a more central one this time. So I feel like I've got a lovely gathering of cocktails. Almost looks like a moon. Aha! 
Oh, is that an idea I can play with? I don't know. So, I just want to have a rough idea of how I'm going to replace these, basically. So, some of them are going to be in front of others. So, is that going to be in front? Yeah, so these two, I think, might be flat with that one. Oh, I think sticking together and not sliding around. How annoying. It's catching on the edges of those. Do you know what? Fun circles going. There we go. Don't think you're going to see it. Anyway. So if he's on dimensionals and those are flat, they'll bring those ones out. And I think we'll put the other yellow one to the back because we've got one at the front. In fact, that one looks better than that one. So let's swap those around. Loads of cocktails. Super duper. Now that might be a bit busy for you. If you don't if you feel like you don't want to put on as many then that's fine. Um, I think just a single dimensional on these is going to be perfectly adequate. And then on these I think we might need to just use some dabs of wet glue. Don't need much of the wet glue very strong. Oh, that's a, that's a pink one. Uh, where did the pink one go? This side. Which one's that green? That's the yellow one in next. Roughly on the same level as that one. Don't mind if it overhangs a little bit. In fact, let's bring that one over slightly. We'll have him a little higher. You know what? The brollies need some glitter, I think. What do you think? Add some wink on there. Crowded, and I think this one might even go a little bit further down as well. Oh, would it? Oh, nice table full of cocktails. Look at that. <laughs> that that's lovely. Um, now, I was going to use um, this theme, but I don't think. I'll, do you know what? I'm not sure it needs it. I think it just needs to say cocktail. So I could have made, moved those up. Or maybe I use something else. What are the other sentiments? We do stick with the theme, but we just do. Um... Okay, back to back to plan plan A. So I don't have anything else that I'd like to use. Really, look, I like how that's turned out, though. Okay, just some little dabs of glue on um, the back of the die cut, then. Just enough to hold it in place of dabs here and there. There is now, I haven't bought any yet, which is like I die cut both of these thinking, oh if only um, we've got um, foam and flat adhesive sheets that we can die cut. So I could have die cut that with adhesive foam 
and then put the um and then that would have been raised which would have been really cute I don't need, need to just do my eye Where's my, there it is. Just drop that into place. Cocktails. And like I say, the, the other sentiment is because adulting is hard. No, I think I'm going to bring in Bermuda Bay ink for this. Or shall I just do it? No, oh, no, Crystal Cabana will be fine. But I've put it to one side, where have I put it? There I have. And of course, because I've laid it up, I can't stamp directly onto there. So I'm just going to grab in, grab some whisper white, and stamp that something like straight on there. Bring in my trimmer. Love this brilliant trimmer. You can see through it, you know exactly where you're going to cut, so you know you're going to get a nice clean one clean cut and a straight cut exactly where you want it. Very, very easy to use. Very easy. And then oh, I just need to take off, just going to take off a little bit off the ends. Again, could have used my trimmer for that, but it's just quick just to take that off and just add that to the bottom. And I think it's just going to go flat so it doesn't detract from our lovely cocktails. Something like central there, Verity. I think in, if I was to do this again, I'd have stamped that first. I, I, I was anticipating going for the same layout, so it all sort of changed halfway through, didn't it? <laughs> look, look great though. I'm really, really pleased with the outlook, with the outcome uh, on that. Really, 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 really sweet. Really like those bright colours. Okay. Thank you so much, everybody. As always, the um, all the. Uh, are going to be listed in the corresponding blog post which will be linked in the description below also in the description below will be quick links directly to the stamp set dies that i've used today and the embossing folder probably um just so that they're quick if you don't want to go necessarily go to the blog post um the blog post does though it will have other links through to uh stamping up shop and joining my team and, and things like that as well um, thank you ever so much everybody for stopping by and spending uh, half an hour of your day with me. I do appreciate it and until tomorrow have a great great day. Uh, take care of yourselves. Okay bye.